This huge pond belongs to Marisay Koi Farm, Yagata's largest producer of Nishiki Goi, supplying Koi of almost every variety to every grade. One of the specialities of Marisay is the Jumbo Koi, and a number of varieties include the Chagoi, Higoi, Ochiba Shigure, Asagi, Hiatsuri, and Mukashi Ogon, the traditional Ogon that preceded Yamabuki and Parachina, and a variety that Satoru Hirasawa, the farm's founder, made his mission to preserve. A 111 centimetre Marase Mukashi Ogon won the Jumbo Champion Prize at this year's Nogiosai Show. The pond, a rice field irrigation reservoir located near the Niigata coastal town of Kashiwazaki, is 10 metres deep when full, and even in this drained state takes considerable effort to net. Rather than carry the koi up the steep and higher bank, the crane is employed to lift the transportation boxes from the pond side to the tracks. The surrounding trees present an additional hazard in the form of fallen branches. Here the netted snag on them requiring Yoshiyuki Hirasawa, son of Seitoro-san, to take to a dinghy to try and free it. The real purpose of the dinghy is actually for holding the halves of the coil. A child's paddling pool being somewhat too small for these coils. Yeah. Yoshiyuki starts lifting the coil from neck to dinghy, all 80 centimetres in size and some nudging the magical one metre mark. Michael Kraft of German dealer Kole Zoo also gets an opportunity to assist with the harvest, as does Rob DeVos of Ornithish. With the two dinghies full, the player moved to the transportation tanks which are then winched up to the bank by a bank. Oh, <laughs> 
more and more Jumbo Koya harvested. This Kigo is the final koi from the first pull of the net. The second tank arrives on the back of the truck, where Yoshiyuki is waiting to receive them and move them into the larger tanks on the truck. The net is pulled around the perimeter of the pond for a second time. As seen on so many farms, Yoshiyuki's wife is fully involved with the work, including manual labour. Florian Bauer also Kale Zoo with the large Nakashi Ogun. I think he is down there running for the fish there. Abfishing in Japan. And he has all the big fish there. He is there. I have already said that. The pond outlet and its deepest part is this corner and the net is pulled around just this section in the hope that many of the koi may be residing there. The result for the effort was just these three koi. As we left, the net was, for a third time, being drawn around the whole of the pond again. Marisei Koi Farm have several different facilities in addition to their original one situated at the entrance of the Utobi Tunnel. Most of their jumbo koi are overwintered in this outdoor facility, situated about 40 kilometers away in Arasa. The ponds are fed by hot spring water, which comes out of the ground at 25 degrees centigrade, even when snow lies deep on the ground. With all the koi unloaded, chance of taking the fruits of the morning's labour. Just the previous day, these ponds had lay empty.